Today, we are going to be making reads quickly. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very special guest joining me, David Van Biesbroek. Hello. And we are going to be doing a read race! Yeah! <laughs> we also have Sophie in the Ovarium. You can see her in the reflection in the mirror. She is helping us with this video. So why are we doing this at all? Like, why are we even doing this? It's important to be able to make reads quickly so you don't ruin your life. Yes. And there's nothing worse than just spending all of your time making reads. And so we thought we would just make reads really quickly and then have a race. We have the cane soaking already and the cane is already shaped and we're going to be using the same cane from the same region, gouged with the same gouger and it's shaped with the same shaper tip. We're using our own staples and we're using our own equipment but we're going to kind of start from the same, same place. We're going to tie it and then go to a, a finished read, I guess. Yeah, I mean like I don't finish reads in one sitting. When I sit down, like I'll, I'll tie a blank, I'll scrape it, I'll clip it open and then I'll let it dry out a little, breathe a little bit, but we'll, we'll you know, push ourselves. Today, we'll push the limits of what is possible. We have two things that we're going to judge today. So the first is by time, and so we'll see who finishes first. And then secondly, it's going to be the other person that's going to try the read. So I'll be trying David's read. And I'll be trying Ron's read. And I think one of the stipulations that you had mentioned before was try to make it sound as bad um, as possible, and which one still sounds better. Yeah. Which is also can be objective sometimes, but yeah. I mean... <laughs> like, we're not gonna help the read sound any right. better than it is. Yes. You know, there's always things you can do by, you know, if you squeeze the read and blow more air through it, like, you know, we could kind of make it sound a little bit better, but we're not gonna do that. Yeah. I'm excited. Are you excited? Terrified. <laughs> um, it's, this is not a fair fight because David has already made like 800 reads this year. <laughs> David is a professional read maker. You can find him at obelrificreads.com. I only make reads for myself and famously do not sell my reads. That's a nice thing. That's a good, that's a good thing. Maybe I'll get there one day. <laughs> you can see a video on David's channel where he ties 100 blanks in one day. Linked. Uh, below. <laughs> yeah, this is by comparison. I mean, this is one. Come on. Just one read. <laughs> How hard can it be? You know, I have like lights that come down, and I like really try to save my back, and so I, I bring myself up and try to do things up here. So this is like completely different. So if you see us like slouching, you're like, those are bad read makers. They shouldn't be slouching. They're gonna ruin their backs. This is not how we usually do that. I mean, speak for yourself. <laughs> Oboists, start your engines and may the best read maker win! So instead of measuring twice, like measuring again with my ruler, what I like to do is I use another staple to make sure that I've tied on the right amount or I'm not over tying with my thread. Um, I'm just trying to set the overlap. Official time check, we just hit two minutes. Oh god, that's slow for me for tiny. 
Oh yeah, it is hard to say. So I'm just trying to get the bark off as quickly as possible. You're gonna make it up later, I know. So, you have your little um, honing, your gendy honing thing. But I was like, last night to Fran, I was like, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna have to worry about that because I feel like, yeah, I have no way. Okay, might as well be. We should try another one where we're remaking in the dark. I feel like we're That's already doing dangerous. that one. <laughs> As if someone gets killed. <laughs> I'm like, if I'm finishing a read for the day, I always have to take off just a little bit more cane than I think I need to. She seals! Oh no, I feel like I'm nervous. I'm actually like really terrified right now. So, yeah, a lot of times I will like talk at my husband about reads and he feigns interest. Like last night I was going on a diatribe about how we are in control of our own read destiny. I think he really zoned out. <laughs> okay. Just trying to get a little mark where. It is like impossible to see. Yeah, this is a little, little problematic, but you know. We need way more lighting to do this. I'll go the lighting. Okay. Time check. We are at six minutes seven seconds. Already. Actually, I, know. I expect the date to be done by now. Jeez, the five minute read. <laughs> My hands are shaking. So, do you use? Like different knives at different points, Ron. Like, I do. Yeah. So I have the light wood handle knife, which is my bark knife. Yeah. Is it a? It's a, a double hollow. Yeah, I only use double hollow. Right well, now. I I don't know. Like I find like for me, I can take a lot of bark off with a beveled knife, and I don't especially have to do any kind of really intensive sharpening things with my bevel knives. So I think that's kind of where I like those, but I know some people that use bevel knives in the entire process. I just, yeah. you have to really have a, a better system, I think, for sharpening. Yeah. I've heard good things about like the upper double re yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've heard jig. That. Yes. But um, haven't tried it. John Frilla, if you're watching this, send me uh, your rejig to review. John Phillips is not gonna watch this video. Never know. Welcome comments in the comments. So I kind of have a little bit of a tip in there. So what I'm gonna try to do now is do a little clip. I'm just gonna see which side of the 
read I'm going to play on. Oh, geez. That is bad. Flat plaques. I do. Yeah, I've kind of gone back to just using a flat plaque for the entire process. Ron has made the first sounds on their read. I was worried that wouldn't happen. David seems so far ahead. No. We're making about the same sound. It's kind of like the pitch is the same. <laughs> they were really... Well, I'm just purely going on. Can I get a C reference? <clears throat> uh, on I'll, I'll give you C reference. Oh, that's, that's not a C. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get up two octaves? <laughs> How close? How much are you pinching? Five seconds. Impressive. Yeah. Impressive. I'm gonna get out my elbows and try it. <sighs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I, like, I finished first because that it was, it blew my mind. I never expected it not in a doubt from here. That's only one part of the competition. Yeah, I know. Next is like David's gonna... See if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Write down in the comments how fast you've ever made a read in a 
high stakes read race for YouTube. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.